Hey there, I'm gonna attempt to share my story with you and hoping that I can I do so in a way that, that helps you understand um, why I've made some recent changes and the incredible benefit it's had for me um, on the way that I feel uh, physically and, and emotionally, uh, mentally, my focus. Um, so I'll just start by telling you, you know, a little story. My name is Sean Escobar and I live in Utah and about 18 years ago, I was introduced to a product and uh, what it was, it, it was a nutritional cleansing technology. And it was this 11 day process that you'd go on and it was geared towards, you know, eliminating toxins from the body. And also it was geared towards nutritional abundance um, and weight loss, uh, you know, getting your caloric intake under control, things of this nature. And it was really a revolutionary at the time. It was, it was a technology. And my father was instrumental in getting this technology spread all over the world and, and uh, it became a, a real phenomenon and a household name and it's called Isogenics. Well, I've been using Isogenics products for 18 years of my life. And, you know, over the years, uh, something wasn't quite clicking right with my system. And I started to find that my body, I, I wasn't processing and digesting these shakes, these meal replacement shakes well anymore. And so I, I didn't know what to do about it, but I just kept trying to take them and I'd notice, you know, a little bit of gas, a little bit of bloating. Uh, once in a while I'd get diarrhea and, you know, and then it got to the point where I just didn't want to take them anymore. And this is my experience. Um, also, there's a cleansing component to this technology that my father was, my mother and my father were instrumental in getting out there to the world. And this cleansing component, you know, I knew that it worked and I knew that it was important to periodically cleanse your body um, of all the impurities, but I, I wasn't uh, enjoying that process. I, that process, you go on liquid food and, you know, you don't eat anything for two consecutive days. It's highly effective, really, really amazing. But I just found myself uh, avoiding it and, you know, and, and not doing it. You know, ideally you do that maybe once a season um, at a minimum. Uh, some people do it, you know, more frequent or less frequent. But bottom line is, I, I found myself, you know, avoiding that component of the, of the technology. And I just, over the years, I was struggling with a lot of brain fog and a lot of bloat. Um, I was having a lot of inflammation in my body. And what's interesting is, you know, here I was in the health industry and I was, I was teaching people, you know, how to become healthier, but I almost feel like I, I was a little bit of a hypocrite in that, or, or I, would, I should say I kind of stopped teaching people how to get healthy overall because I didn't want to be a hypocrite. It would be hypocritical of me not feeling really well to then go and try to teach people that, you know, I can help them get healthy. It, it, I felt like a hip, hypocrite. So all this was kind of compounding and the brain fog kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point where I started to wonder if I had that concussion syndrome. Um, I can't remember, something traumatic encephalopathy. I, I wondered if I suffered that from 12 years of tackle football in my youth and all the, you know, I know I had several concussions um, and I just started to begin to think that, you know, this is the way that I am. I, I can't focus, I have no, I have no um, motivation, like things started to get really, really dark for me and frustrating for me. And there's not a lot of people I could tell because when you are in the nutrition industry and that's what you do for a living, you know, there is this expectation that, you know, you've got your stuff together and that you're the one with the answers. The bloat was miserable. Um, the bloating, it would be the lower abdomen and so many of the things that I would eat would cause, you know, really severe symptoms. And I wouldn't know what they were, what it was that was causing it, because, you know, I'm not some dietitian or nutritionist. I'm just someone that, you know, I value health, I value fitness, I value wellness, but uh, I don't have an education around all those kinds of things to, you know, to be forthright. Well, this all progresses and um, May of this year, it kind of came to a climax, it came to a head. 
uh, May of 2020, I'm talking to my wife and um, I'm, again, I'm complaining to her, her about how I feel and how I can't get rid of this bloat and my brain fog and I, um, I just don't have answers and I've tried all these different things and I had tried all kinds of, of different things. And uh, I just says, well, you know, nothing seems to be working for me and I don't know what to do. Well, my wife looks at me and she says, you know what? She says, she kind of had this moment where she's gonna call me out, you know? And she goes, Sean, she says to me, you, uh, you've been eating ice cream. You've been uh, drinking a little bit of, uh, of diet soda. Uh, you've been eating some candy. And uh, she says, you've been drinking alcohol more frequent. And she, she says all this about me and she, you know, she kind of, she's basically, and I was still working out, but you know, she's just basically saying like, in fact, she did say, where's the self-discipline? Like, so she basically just says, you're not as self-disciplined as you once were. Where did the self-discipline go? And for me, it was, it was eye-opening. I felt, I got my feelings hurt and sure, you know, I felt defensive at first, but then it got me thinking, What's going on here? What's going on with me? What's going on with my body? What's going on with my my focus? Now, she doesn't know what it's like to feel, you know, trapped in that that mental fog. And just like I didn't know how it was for her, she dealt with her entire adulthood um, acne that she couldn't get under control. And it was just debilitating and, and, you know, just robbing her of her passion and her enthusiasm. And we all have different health challenges, you know, but I sat there and I thought about that for a long time, you know, probably for several weeks. And then I decided, you know what? I, um, I says, why do I eat this kind of stuff? I don't, I don't like this kind of stuff. That's not really like me. Why have I gravitated towards this kind of stuff? And I realized that it wasn't that that stuff was making me feel the way I was feeling. That wasn't the case. What, what really was happening was I was attracted to the garbage, toxic foods because, um, because of the way I was feeling. I was going for the, the stuff that's not good for me because I wasn't feeling my best. Um, and you find that it's very counterintuitive. When you feel your best, you don't have such a taste for all those kinds of things. A healthy, clean, uh, functioning body is, is actually attracted to healthy, clean function, you know, things. And so with all that said, I turned to several friends. I turned to one friend that taught me about elimination, um, taught me how I could effectively and uh, practically like, you know, do it in a manageable way where it can actually be done and eliminate all the different culprit foods that could be causing inflammation in my body and therefore inflammation in my brain. And so I learned a lot from this particular mentor of mine. And uh, then I turned to a different mentor. And that particular mentor is, he's a phenomenal researcher and he's in touch with all kinds of scientists. And he taught me this concept about um, how to take my existing shakes that I was, you know, I had this love affair with, but <laughs> it just kind of got uh, bumpy over the years. And he taught me how to take those existing shakes and, and take the efficacy and compound it dramatically and also make it um, far more absorbable and digestible. And he taught me this concept and I'm forever grateful to him for that of um, incubation. And you have to use grass-fed whey and it has to be undenatured and um, it has to be the right ratio of protein to carbohydrate um, and it's all based on time and temperature and it's science, okay? And so he taught me about this and sure enough, wow, like he was right, he was right. I All of a sudden I could enjoy my products again and not have the bloat, not have the gas, not have any of the, the ill effects. Really got excited about that. And then there was this third component, which was um, something that I could uh, leverage uh, to ensure that the cleansing days that are so important, so important to cleanse the body and 
I was able to use this new incredible, um, this new product that is called collagen bone broth and you use it on the cleanse days. This was developed by a Harvard professor who graduated top of his class. He actually graduated a seven year program in three and a half years. And uh, he's the formulator of this particular product. His name is Dr. Josh Plant. And you can leverage these, you can use these bone broth shakes in order to you know, supplement your, your cleanse days so that you don't feel so weak and deprived. And because it's liquid, it really doesn't have any kind of an ill effect on the, uh, the process of cleansing the body. And that was another boom, like an eye opener. And so these three things compounded together. And I have to tell you, um, I incorporated these, these processes and these, you know, these things. And all of a sudden I came alive again. Um, the bloat is gone and uh, hasn't returned. And my body is just functioning at a very high level in terms of my digestion and metabolism. My um, ability to exercise has increased dramatically. In fact, by the about the fifth day, I found myself, I, I went on a hike. It was a seven and a half hour hike and I knocked it out like it was nothing. Um, I couldn't believe it. Uh, this wasn't like me. I don't know where all the energy came from. And, uh, you know, and part of this is another process that I learned through the elimination, which is called fat adaptation. My body had never learned to use healthy, good fats for energy. And I actually had to teach my body how to do that. So that was another component that was so exciting for me to learn about. You know, these little things make all the difference and add up to a big result. Guess what? Um, I continued to, uh, after that big hike, I, I stained my deck. I redid my complete 1200 square foot deck in three days. It took me 12 hours a day and I just kept going and going and going. I never took a break. I even said to my wife, I says, what's gotten into me? I says, I feel like I'm some super, superhuman, um, you know, bionic type thing now. It was just the most incredible thing. And then uh, the brain fog started to uh, just dis disappear. And all of a sudden I had, I had focus, I had mental clarity, I had, I had enthusiasm. And I actually noticed that uh, emotionally, I felt so much better and I was starting to be kinder to people um, like my parents and my wife and my children. You know, this fog was just really debilitating. All of this came together and my wife, she had joined me along in this process of discovery and we did this 11 day eliminate reset shred together. And by about a week in, my wife's skin completely cleared up. She, I mean, you should have seen her face. Same thing with my daughter's skin, exact same thing, completely cleared up. Acne just improved, I mean, cleared up. And uh, we're all just looking at this going, wow, like what have we discovered? Wait, what have we rediscovered? Um, and so now we just become so passionate about sharing this with people because not only is it gonna help you with all kinds of inflammatory things, when you are able to eliminate all the culprits of gluten, soy, corn, um, sugar, you know, even plants, a lot of plants have, um, they have inflammatory responses in the body, natural pesticides that go in and, and freak your body out. And that's why you get a lot of bloating and gas when you eat a lot of plants. Um, but you create space in the body where there's the inflammation has been reduced and all of a sudden amazing things can happen for you. Um, once you don't have inflammation in the body, pain, you know, things start healing really quickly. My shoulder that I'd torn healed so fast I couldn't even believe it. Um, there's just so many things that are a result of inflammation you just don't realize and it's because of all the culprits and the bad things that we eat on a daily basis that are causing these problems and most people don't know what's causing the problems they're never able to identify the culprits because they just eat so many different things you know you think about it animals eat like one thing <laughs> maybe a couple but it, human beings eat everything all the time all kinds of things and so very empowering process this er shred process to discover what your culprits are, to fuel your body with unbelievably uh, bioavailable 
micro micronutrition to to make sure you balance things out um, and bolster the body's all its functions and and then um, you use the cleansing element to you know purge all the bad stuff and you guys just you got to see the results for yourself we're going to start sharing results as they come in um, and we'll do that we'll, we'll start to share some of these results with you uh, give it a try that's all I can ask you to do I, I don't need any money it's not what this is about um, it's not about money at all for me what it's about is I want people to feel well like I feel I feel better now than I did when I was 17 years old uh, and that's legitimate. I'm not just saying that. That's the absolute truth. My brain, my my emotions, uh, my creativity, my motivation, physical strength. I I am getting like it. It this stuff really works. Um, my endurance, my stamina, uh, everything is just firing on all cylinders right now, and it's so fun to see. And I, I want other people to experience it. I want them to come alive. So I hope you'll join me and, and my wife and our team as we endeavor upon this. I hope you'll join us. Thanks. And we did get shredded too. Let me tell you what. Um, we got, well, I think that my wife and I look better right now than we ever have. We, I mean, look at, I've never, check this out. Never. Never have I ever felt confident about my abdomen. Not because I, I mean, I did all the sit-ups. I did all the exercising, but the bloat was so significant. I'd never even want to be in a swimming suit. I never want to get a picture with my shirt off because uh, I'd be conscious of that. Sorry, there's some bees there. But uh, all the way around, health benefits galore when you do this process. Um, do it with someone. Do it with a spouse. Do it with some friends. It'll make it even more fun and the results will even be far greater. And you're going to become empowered. If you're not feeling optimal, if you're not feeling your best, uh, you, you want to consider trying something like this. You know, you can go ahead and read all the studies, do all the research about all the different ways of eating. I've done it. And what you're going to come up against is you're going to say, wait a minute, it's all competing, it's all confusing, it's all contradictory, I don't know what to believe. And so you're going to have to come to a point where you try different things and find what works for you, which is what I've ultimately done. You have to find what works for you and, and uh, what's going to make you feel your absolute best. And that's a gift. To feel your best, there's nothing better. There's no more valuable asset in this world and when you're feeling at your, your top of your game, your A game, it affects everything. It affects your work. It affects your relationships. It affects uh, your emotions. It affects just everything. Everything is how you feel. You feel good. You get stuff done. You make things happen. And people love to be around you. And it's just, it's just uh, where it's at. Focus on how you feel. Focus on getting well.